welcome to another video of shameless self-promotion from Noble Waterfall Creations. Now I've completed two more coffin purses since the last slash show and tell. And I have two more kind of on the way, which I might end up doing today. Now these two are almost exactly the same, but not. It's a little different than what I've done before. Now, the first time in the other video, I had done a different material just for the front, but I had it up where I did the entire cover in this pattern, and I just thought this was the cutest darn thing, with the skulls that had the hearts and the hearts and the hearts, and the hearts, and pink was so cute, and pink was just kind of girly, and the cloth was just a plain, you know, skull piece of cloth. And I had found these gemstones that were just the right size for the eyes. So I added the red gemstones into a few of the different skulls' eyes to kind of like irises. Now I only added them to the skulls that you saw completely. So I didn't add them over here in the corners. And that's only on the front. And it is a wool back. And it's kind of a maroon colored, a dark brownish maroon that picks up every bit of dust in Christendom. Again, the same handle I always use with the simple black handle. And I happen to actually have a heart-shaped gem to cover the clasp, which, you know, follows along with a the theme, which I was very happy about. And this, I used a smaller mirror because I'm running out of mirrors. So next time I go to maybe Joanne's or Michael's or wherever I find my mirrors, I'll have to get some better ones. And the mirror is it's still a decent size. It's two inches, so it's a little smaller. And it has a silky pink inside. It's really hard when you like make them and like you hope they sell, but then you hope they don't because you like them so much you're probably using them yourself. <laughs> I'm horrible like that. Now this is the second one, which is done in the same way as the flowered one where it's just in the front because I had more of this material now this one's a little different and I'll show you when I get inside now I did the same thing but I used the black gemstones and there's two different ones the smaller skulls have the same gemstones that were on the pink one but I have found a package of different type of gemstones where the bigger skulls have little hearts for their eyes. And they were just about the right size, so it fits in the same, so the eyes are about that size. So it gives a little extra dimension, a little something something. Now, the cloth itself isn't just a plain black. There is, I'm not even quite sure how you describe this, kind of swirly patterns kind of woven in, almost like an upholstery type of material but it's a polyester and that goes all the way around and again similar to scrap with a little fancier handle it's silver and it's got a little doweling maybe is the term a woodworker would know the term I'm trying to convey but I'm not a woodworker and I had found gemstones that weren't like in weird just bright colors that I usually never use. These are all black. So I used the all black faceted gemstone, which is bigger than I usually use, but as long as it's enough to cover the particular clasp, it's okie dokie fine. Open it up. And this one has a little different setup where I didn't have enough cloth of the main cloth for the hinge, so I used what I had some left over of the external cloth for the hinge so it does sort of break up the monochromaticness no the monotony of a similar look of the end inside if it's a good thing if it's a bad thing i'm not so sure but it's different and practical just a simple black background and again a smaller mirror but this is a faceted hexagonal mirror I'm sure there's some geometric term, and unfortunately, <laughs> only I would point out like the flaws, it slipped just a little bit, 
so you can kind of see the glue in the corner here. So it does have a bit of a flaw, so this... So at least now you can tell it's handmade. <laughs> Where it's a tiny little flaw. But some artists actually sometimes puts flaws in their things to kind of like prove it's handmade. And I kept the 100% cotton color fast made in China <laughs> on the part of the hinge there. I just, I just thought it was kind of funny. This one came out good, but has a few issues, but still a neat purse. If anything, it'll have a home with me. Now these aren't in my shop yet, and I haven't even gotten to the other ones yet, but any questions, comments, like to know about them, comment below, subscribe for more shameless self-promotion, and I'll see you next time.